Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be talking about this. When you logged into Minecraft today, or at least when I did, I saw this. There's a new and improved launcher downloaded now. So that means Minecraft is transitioning from this old school style launcher to what looks like a newer launcher that we can find here in the Microsoft Store, right? So Microsoft has been trying to move more and more people to their store and it seems like they want Minecraft to start being downloaded from the store. And we have a dedicated video coming out on this but look how cool this is you can play minecraft with xbox game pass for pc that's minecraft java edition can be played for free if you have game pass so if you're paying for game pass you can play minecraft java edition for free now that's awesome let's go ahead though and click the install button here and this is just a basic video on basically how to install the minecraft launcher right so what you want to do is go here to the microsoft store so we can also open this up by the way from here so we can go to the microsoft store here open this up and then we want to search up here at the top for minecraft and then up comes this now unfortunately you have to click over right now and we want to download the minecraft launcher it doesn't look legit as i'm recording this it literally came out about an hour ago but this will get a lot more reviews and all of that i'm sure but what you can do is when you click on it look for one simple thing you want to look who it's developed by, and that's Microsoft Studios. As long as it says Microsoft Studios here, you're good to go. But as you can see, this is already installed. There was the install button here. We click that, and now we can click play. That's then going to open up this brand new Minecraft launcher, and we're opening this up for the first time here. Um, I'm going to kind of walk you through this. So I've hit play here. We're just going to kind of sit back and wait. Uh, I did see some of our staff on our Minecraft server say that this had to be closed. So you might want to close the old Minecraft launcher before trying to open up this new one and then when we did that we were able to click play and as you can see it is now getting things opened up and working i'm guessing one of the reasons they did this as well and we have this icon up here at the top boom here it is this looks a lot like the old launcher to me just being honest with you and let's go ahead and click microsoft login now if you haven't migrated your account by the way if you've migrated like you're still using a mojang account you can click here and log in with that most people though should have migrated and if you haven't check out the eye at the top of your screen to see how but we're gonna go ahead and click on the microsoft login here i'm gonna go ahead log right on in there it is. Let's go ahead and play. It immediately pulled that from the Xbox app and the other Microsoft, uh, you know, the other launcher. But you may have to log in yourself. And here we are. As you can see, we have the account up here. And it's uh, exactly the same, right? One thing I will note, though, is we did lose all of our installations. I'm curious if we go ahead and try to make an Optifine installation here if this will show up. If it doesn't, that is a big deal, but it does. There it is. We now have Optifine and we can launch it. Awesome stuff. Let's go ahead and launch on in game. And there you have it. That is how you can download the new Minecraft launcher. Now, this is the same launcher as before, which is really going to confuse people. I was expecting something a little more updated, a little different there, but no, it's the same launcher. Uh, just moved, right? All of your settings don't transfer though. As you can see here, this is opening up very, very small because my window settings, my you know resolution that I want Minecraft to open up at has not transferred over. So anyway, there we have it though. We are now in game and we can join the best Minecraft server. Oh, we have to redo this. That's interesting. So you always want to allow private networks on this. Uh, some people would say allow public, but private's always safe. Let's go ahead and double click on playdarbreakdowncraft.com and join in to the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Come play with us, by the way. You will absolutely love it. This is Medieval Survival. Awesome stuff. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. And um, yeah, that's how you can get the new Minecraft launcher. Very simple stuff, but I uh, kind of wanted to go over that because I know a lot of people are going to be very confused about it at first. It does look exactly the same. So that is one thing I want to mention one more time here. If we close out of this, this looks exactly the same as the old Minecraft launcher. Now, if you want to know how to uninstall the old Minecraft launcher, I'll show you how to do that very, very quickly here. So to do that, what you want to do is come up here to the top left of my screen, bottom of your screen, that little Windows icon, type in apps and features. When you click on that, it's going to give you a big list of apps, and you want to scroll down here until you see a Minecraft launcher. Now, there's two Minecraft launchers. One will be installed the day you're watching this video, if you just installed it with this video, and the publisher under it's going to be Microsoft Studios. One will just be Minecraft launcher with nothing under it. We want to uninstall the one that's got the older date, right? As you can see, this one right here is 1014, not today, and then it doesn't have Microsoft Studios under it. Click on that, and then click uninstall click on install again and that will go ahead and remove that i have heard that once you log into an account with the new minecraft launcher that old one won't work anymore and it will try to make you play the demo it's really weird that's why we want to make sure we just have this one but now we can come up here search for minecraft launcher there it is and it will open 
right on up. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give you a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. We make tons of awesome Minecraft videos here. Go check out as well the first link down below, breakdowncraft.com slash apex to get your own Minecraft server up and running quickly and easily. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.